So saved looks are something that's really useful for um, when you're creating concept images. You can create something and save it, and then you can move on to the next the next look. Uh, it's quite obvious, really, just like you would in a lighting desk. Where I've used it in the past is I quite like to create some nice uh, images of scenic designs I've I've made as I'm as I'm working. Uh, when I was at the Opera House, I was creating around about 25 to 30 productions a year, and I that's that's almost one a week. You know, taking into account a dark period and, and downtime. So I wouldn't stop and always just do a you know a load of pictures using the lighting desk to, to get the uh, to get some nice pictures that I can keep from my portfolio. So what I had was a generic set of, uh, of looks that I kept in our permanent lighting rig. And when I finished making the scenery, I would just go into design mode, load up one of my looks, something that was appropriate that just about fit that set. Obviously not everything worked for everything. Uh, and just took some uh, screen grabs. So yeah, we all find different ways for using these features, but let's just go and have a look at how we create save views. Uh, it's just a very useful tool if you want to create some, uh, some pretty images and you want to have a variety of them. Lesson 33, um, we're going to look at saved looks. So we've created a look, we quite like it. If we jump across to looks here on the panel, we can save this by creating uh, a look panel. Now you get one to start with, it's called my look. So whatever I've done in this scene at the moment is saved here. If I create a new one by right clicking, go to new look, it just deletes everything. So let's just call this test one and everything turns off. So it's kind of a bit backwards. If you're a lighting programmer, you would usually create your lighting look and then record it. In this case, you have to create your, uh, your icon first and then you make changes to that. So let's jump across the fixture groups, select our TW1s. Let's turn them on. Let's just load them straight down and I'm gonna change it to a red and I'm going to, are they already zoomed out? I'm going to zoom them in. Um, I'm going to jump back to my looks. I'm going to create another new one, new look. I'm going to call this one test two. Be consistent with my spacings. This time I'm going to add a fade time just to demonstrate a point. Click OK. Turns everything off. I'm going to collect my TW1s. Where are they? Uh, you can see I've got a bit of an obsession of TW1s. I love them. Let's make it green this time. Uh, and zoomed out and I'm going to add my VL1000s just click full I'm going to tilt them up a little bit so that they're on the stage I'm going to zoom them out and I'm going to give them all a gobo a nice dotty gobo there we go so go nice little gobo wash on the stage in green actually pretty horrible I hate green but again demonstrates a point so let's go back to our looks now if I click between these it will just change my lighting so I've got my original one, my look, that I was just doing for, as a test. I've got test one. And if I click on test two, where I've added the fade duration, it'll actually do a fade into it. But that will include all of the usual messiness that a lighting desk is good at cleaning up. You know, moving gobos and uh, move through dark, auto move type situations. They're all ignored in this. It just literally takes you into that scene. Um, so it doesn't apply the fade when you come out. It just applies it when you go in. But you can see how that would work. Now, if you had the moving uh, scenery toggle turned on and you had some scenery that moved you could create a fade duration that would actually create moving scenery so you can create an entire look that has scenery in one place and it could have your lights changing color and all of that can be controlled in this world here um, so that's looks we've got a few of those now um, I told you it'd be a short lesson we're gonna jump across to view options which is going to make this all look much nicer and, uh, and explain a bit about optimization as well